Good morning, Eagles. I'm Brock. I'm Fisher. And I'm Logan. Now let's stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Guys, I'm bored. Let's play some music. What song is that? I don't know, but we can go guess that song with Abby, Lily, and Olivia. When I was 13, I had my first love. What song is that? Guess the song. Um, it's by Justin Bieber. Yeah. Um, it's called Baby. Yes. Oh my god, I love that song. Same. Well, let's go ask some students if they can guess the song. Let's, let's go. go. Guess the song. Six and seven graders got two out of three, and the eighth graders got three out of three. Way to take the dub, eighth graders, and back to you, anchors. Guys, can I get help wrapping a Christmas present? Brock, we already, we already did, did that. that. Oh yeah, I still need more help. For those of you who don't know how to wrap one, here's our story. Good morning, Eagles. I'm Brock. I'm Logan, and I'm Fisher. From Eagle, Eagle News, News first, first hour. hour. Our segment is on Real Stuff Friday. This week on Real Stuff Friday, we will be teaching you how to wrap a Christmas present. Let's get to it. This is what we need to wrap a Christmas present. Wrapping paper. Scissors. Your present. And some tape. Wait, 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 wait. I think we need to get into the Christmas spirit. Huh? What? Let's try this again. Much better. Let's go start wrapping. First, you need an appropriate size piece of paper to fit your present. Second, you need to put your present in the middle of the paper. Then, you need to take the long side of your piece of paper and fold it in so the piece of paper is covering the, front, the bottom and the top of your present. Then, you need to take the, the ends of your piece of paper and fold them in. But if they're too long, then you need to take scissors and cut off the ends. Once you cut off the access of the ends of your paper, then you need to take the end of your paper and fold it in. Then take the other side and fold it in. Then you need a piece of tape to seal it up and make sure it doesn't fall apart. If it's still falling apart, then you might need more than one. Now look at this amazing Christmas present. Merry Christmas, Mom. Aw, thanks, buddy. Yeah. That's how to wrap a Christmas present. Back, Back you in for free. Bro, do you got any coffee? No, but I can go take you to meet some of the members at the coffee shop. Yeah, that's Bella and Kennedy's story. Let's go check it out. Good morning, Eagles. I'm Kennedy. And I'm Bella from, from Eagle, Eagle News First Hour. Our story today is going to be getting to know the coffee shop. We're ready to see what the coffee shop is all about. Let's get started. Thanks. Jalen, huh? 
What are you looking forward to about going to high school? Oh, uh, I, that I get to um, be with uh, her and everything. What's your favorite thing about the coffee shop? Uh, that we uh, get to cook with the teachers. What do you want for Christmas? guys' names? My name is Caitlin. I'm Megan. What is your favorite part about sixth grade so far? I like reading. Math. Math. What is your favorite part about the coffee shop? Um, I like doing the I like um, cooking because I cook with my mom every single time and it always reminds me of something. What are you guys doing for Thanksgiving? Um, tomorrow I'm going to my, my dad's son's house. I am going to spend time with my family on Thanksgiving. Thank you. My name is Sabrina. And my name is River. And my name is Jace. What's your favorite thing about the coffee shop? Mm, I like doing the food and do the deliveries and about like everything in the coffee shop. I also like doing the cash register. I also like doing the cash register with River. What do you guys want for Christmas? Um, I want new and I want a Buzz Lightyear. And I want a crossword puzzle. Thank, Thank you. you. What are your names? Ariel. Hi, Kai. What's your favorite part about the coffee shop? I like to work. Oh, with me. Okay. Let's go. Uh, cashier. What do you want for Christmas? I really want a switch. A laptop. A laptop. A cool. What are you guys looking forward to about going to high school? I'm working in the coffee shop. That was cool. Okay. Making new friends. Thank you. What are your guys' names? My name is Kristen Bland. My name is Morgan McFarland. Uh, my name is Lindsay Manchester. Uh, my name is Zachary. What is your guys' favorite part about the school year so far? Probably coffee shop. Um, working coffee shop. What's your favorite part about the coffee shop? Um, probably that everybody gets to work and and it's fun to work. How would cafes walk down the gym? Um, I want to um I work at cash register. What do you guys want for Christmas this year? I want Nintendo Switch games and some Legos. Um, basketball. Cool. Um, I want an iPad. Thank you. Cool.
I'm happy to see what's going on. Thanks, Thanks for watching, Eagles. Back to you, Anchors. Rock, anything good coming up? Yeah, there's actually a science test that's coming up. Let's go over to Haley and Ari to find out something good. Hey, Eagles. I'm Ari here. What are you going to do today? So, yeah, it's just me. But today we're going to be doing Tell Me Something Good. Tell me your name and something good. My name is Matthew Barno and something good is chocolate. Okay. Tell me your name and something good. Um, my name is Ari. Miss Sullivan, tell me something good. Last night was our basketball team's first game, um, and it wasn't a victory for everybody, um, but all teams learned and fought really hard. Thank you. Tell me your name and something good. Um, I'm Cameron, and Thanksgiving's in two days. Tell me your name and something good. Okay, my name is Sarah, and something good is I have a basketball. Something positive. I don't have any positive. Um, I just want to tell me. Hi, Miss Native. Tell me something good. Something good is so much Thanksgiving, and as you can see, I love the holidays. And some kids in my winning team decorated early for me, but I absolutely love the time between Thanksgiving and Christmas. And my birthday's in there too. Shout out to Miss Paddock. We're birthday twins. Holidays. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Back to you, Anchor. Thanks, Haley and Ari. Ellen McKenzie recognized some students for good things that they have done. It's the broadcasting recognition story. Good morning, Eagles. I'm McKenzie. And I'm Ella from Eagle News First Hour. Today, we're going to be going around the school to find positive attitudes. Let's get to it. Miss Lindsay nominated Bella and Kennedy for their amazing story and including everybody. Mr. Quick nominated Sammy because he has been injured, but he still comes to class every day with a positive attitude. Ms. Riker nominated Lauren because she's always doing the right thing, even when the teacher is not watching or the teacher is not there. Preston Brooks was nominated for helping out a new student and finding his classes and welcoming him. Jack Watson was nominated because he always has a positive attitude and always works hard. Ryan was nominated because in gym class he always runs his warm-ups and always has a positive attitude. Miss Atherton nominated Stephen because he helped somebody in the kitchen when they did not know what to do. Jackson was nominated because he always has a positive attitude in gym class. Avery was nominated for always having a positive attitude and always doing what's right. There sure is a lot of positivity at SVMS. Yeah, there is. Well, thanks for watching, Eagles. Back to you, anchors. We have so many great students at South Valley. Our last story today is Keegan Ryan and Deontay with Would You Rather. Let's check it out. Hey, it's Ryan, Keegan, and Deontay from Eagle News First Hour. Today we'll be interviewing the SMS students and staff. We'll be asking them would you rather questions. Would you rather live in a cabin in the woods or live on the beach? Would you rather eat Chick-fil-A or Popeyes for the rest of your life? Chick-fil-A. Would you rather never be able to talk again or never be able to see again? Would you rather watch an NFL or NBA game? NFL. Would you rather wear Nike or Adidas for the rest of your life? Adidas. Would you rather be really tall or really short? Uh, really tall. Um, really tall. Really okay. Would you rather have a brother or a sister? I'd rather have a brother. Would you rather be an adult forever or a kid forever? Kid forever. Would you rather be a kid forever or an adult forever? I would much rather be a kid forever. It's so much easier being one of you turds. <laughs> All right. Would you rather eat Popeyes or Chick-fil-A for the rest of your life? That's easy. Popeyes. Why? <laughs> um, oh my gosh. When I was in high school, my high school job, I worked at a drugstore, and right across the parking lot was a Popeyes chicken. I literally ate Popeyes chicken probably three times a week, and I loved it. Nothing better than spicy chicken. And... Um, mashed potatoes, and gravy with that jalapeno gravy. <laughs> right. Thank you. Would you rather watch an NFL or NBA game? I'd rather watch NFL. Why? Uh, I love basketball, but the NBA game isn't, isn't pure anymore like the college game. All right. Would you rather watch an NFL game or an NBA game? 
I would 100% rather watch the NFL because I think that the NBA players are a little lazy. Would you rather have a brother or a sister? I would rather have a sister because I could share like clothes with her and she probably wouldn't be as much of a problem as a brother. Would you rather live in a cabin in the woods or live on the beach? Live on the beach. Why? Because it's always warm in the sea. Okay. Thanks for watching our story. Back to you, anchors. Thanks for watching. Have a great Friday. This is Gold signing off. Bye, Eagles.